Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Figma to Webflow plugin in 2024. So today we're diving into the exciting world of using the Figma Webflow plugin, which is a powerful tool that streamlines the process of transferring or translating your Figma designs into fully functional Webflow websites. Whether you're collaborating with the design team or looking to expedite your design to development workflow, stick around as I guide you through it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Let's begin by logging in into both accounts Figma and Webflow. So go to the CRL section and type figma.com and hit the enter button. Do the same with Webflow. So webflow.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into their home screen and main screen for both options. And of course, if it's your first time, I'll just open that to show you. You will be taken to their home screen and main screen, which is going to be this. So on Figma, you will have to click here to log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, click on Get Started for free to create a new account. If you don't know anything about Figma, you can scroll down to read more information about this website and just familiarize yourself or just have a general idea about it. If you're interested to see the pricing, here is it. You can post the reader and it's all by your own. The same for Webflow. You'll have to click on Login to log in into your account and create an account or click on Get Started to create an account or... Uh, if you don't know nothing about it, just scroll down to read more information about it or just have general idea idea about it. Here's, here is the pricing. You can post very readings all by your own, yearly and monthly, of course, if you want to see the prices. And yeah, of course, you can log in and create an account both in both Figma and Webflow using a Google account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So begin now once you're logged in into both accounts. You'll have to begin by installing the Figma to Webflow plugin in your Figma account. Just open the Figma account and access or go to Explore Community. Once you click on it, as you can see, welcome to Figma Community. Explore thousands of free and paid templates, plugins, and UI kits to kickstart your next big idea. So we would like to search for the plugin, which is, of course, Webflow. Just go here and type Webflow and hit the enter button. So for us, we would like plugin. So let's not select all, just select plugins so you can specify the Figma to Webflow plugin. As you can see, this is the plugin right here. As you can see, it's used by 1,800, sorry, 100,086K people and uploaded, updated, sorry. So it has an update like 10 days ago. So people are actually updating it if there is a problem. So just click on open in. And as you can see, you can open it in a specific design that you have. I'll just go and open another Figma tab in here to show you. So here you'll find all the designs that you have. As you can see, a list of a lot of designs. So you can see the names of those designs and you can simply open it in that specific design. As an example, let's say I want to open it here or you can even create a new uh, file or playground file to have the plugin on it. So I'll just go and open it in here. As an example, this will open this for me and to the design, of course. So this, what does that did to me? So you can see in the plugin in here, Figma to Webflow, you'll be able to design in Figma and simply launch in Webflow. As simple as that. This what this will plugin do for you. The Figma or to Webflow plugin built by Webflow Labs lets you turn your static designs into clean, production-ready Webflow, HTML, and CSS, add Webflow interactions, wire up contents using our powerful CMS, and one click to publi publish into the fastest hosting infrastructure. How it works, as you can see, you'll have to install and connect an authorized access to Webflow sites, or working, you'll be using to, to transfer designs from Wigma, Figma to Webflow. Then you'll be able to copy, and paste design with auto layout in Figma, then easily trans translate your design to Webflow as a responsive Flexbox structure. You can even adjust HTML tags within Figma to get your site live faster. 
and three, polish and publish, bring your static designs to life within the iX2 wire up content using Webflow powerful CMS and one click publish into the fastest hosting structure. New feature opens now in beta, you can read this all by your own. So I'll just keep going through it slowly and you can pause the very video and read it all by your own as an example. And yeah, so here, what you'll need to do is simply go and click on run. So just click on run, as you can see, you will receive, or you will have this prompt. Just click on next. Next, they'll show you what you can do. So for me, I don't wanna receive any email updates. Just and check this option if you don't wanna receive any like me and click on connect account so we can connect our Webflow account. As you can see, select the sites or workspace to authorize so you can select whatever you want so i'll just select this one you can even select like both if you want to so then click on authorize app of course this authorization will let you uh, or will let webflow read authorized user data read sasa diet of course of your figma and view your designs and make changes edit assets data edit design on your behalf sorry just i'll just click on authorize and meanwhile i'll just lower the brightness of this screen it's like yeah so here as you can see webflow account is linked webflow from figma to webflow now has permission to move layout directly from figma and head back to figma to start using the plugin so just close this tab as they said and as you can see let's just click on let's start and here we are we can simply go and use the copy paste or design system sync as an example you can open projects in webflow as simple as that and you can start doing everything from here so whatever suits you if you want to use through this uh, copy paste as example i don't know select a frame to copy you can select a frame to copy or all items you can select all the items that you have in here so let's say an example we select this one as you can see you will get this uh, notification so click on move file and this will move it to webflow right away as you can see now that you move the file to projects your teammates can edit and collaborate with you if you want to got it i don't care so now you will find it's moved to one of your designs or because we select both to both your designs in here or your websites in here and that's how simply you can use this plugin so there you have it you successfully learned how to use the figma to webflow plugin in 2024 to streamline your designs to development workflow by leveraging the power of these tools you can expedite the process of translating your figma designs into fully functional webflow websites of course if you have like a full website that is full designed make sure to transfer it so you'll be able to do so and make sure to if you're on free plan like me make sure to have just one size because you will not be able to transfer it if you have two sites because the uh, figma will oh sorry the webflow will let you just have two websites in the same time in the free plan unless you have a better plan make sure to remove one as an example i don't know maybe just remove this how you will not be able to delete it just click on archive and make sure to uh, type the name of it and you'll be able to do it as simple as that and yeah so click on archive then move whatever you want so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye